What's up guys, welcome to the most powerful and the fastest Facebook ads training you'll ever see on the internet, all right? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make more sales in your business than you ever have using Facebook ads. It's gonna be no fluff. I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys how to set up an ad top to bottom exactly the way that we do it. All right, let's get into it. We rich from anywhere, baby, baby, baby. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna jump into your ads manager. Don't boost your post. That's a great way to lose all your money. Run it from the ads manager like this. Now I'm assuming you've already got your ads manager set up. If you don't have that set up yet, you're gonna wanna use our seven step blueprint to show you how to get all this set up. We'll drop the link in the description for that as well. But if you already have all that set up, you're gonna come to your ads manager and you're gonna click this green button that says create. And then this box is gonna pop up right here. Now this is asking you to choose your campaign objective. This is basically Facebook saying, what do you want to accomplish, right? And it's gonna give you all these different options right Right here now it's very important for you to understand that Facebook is like a magic genie that's gonna give you exactly what you ask for but nothing more okay so if you click on awareness what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a ton of views and a bunch of awareness but you're not gonna make any sales right if you click on traffic you're gonna get a bunch of link clicks and a bunch of traffic but you're not gonna get any sales okay so if that's what you want then click that but I understand that a lot of people watching this video probably want leads or sales so if you want leads click leads if you want sales click sales so for this instance in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and choose sales and then I'm gonna hit continue. Then it's gonna pop up this screen and we're gonna start creating your campaign. So now we're at the campaign level and we're gonna go ahead and name this campaign, okay? So what I want you to do here is put in whatever it is, you know, the, the objective of this campaign. Like what is it that you're trying to sell? So for this example, I'm gonna act like I'm selling my Facebook ads accelerator course. So I'm just gonna put in accelerator course and then what you wanna do is you wanna put the date that you plan on launching this campaign, just like that. Now you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see that you have two different types of budget strategies. You can do campaign budget or ad set budget. I would recommend doing campaign budget and then just set your budget right here. Now, if you're just getting started, you're gonna to wanna to spend somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks per day. You don't need to spend any more than that. If you're looking to get results faster, you can spend more, but all that's gonna do is just gonna get you more views faster, more data faster, right? But you, if you don't have that budget, you don't have to spend it, right? Let's just start with something like 20 bucks a day. Okay, cool. Now we're done. All you have to do now is hit next on the bottom right. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna take you to the next step in the ads setup, right? So this is called the ad set level here. The ad set level is where you set up your targeting and you tell Facebook you know, who you're trying to target and all that kind of stuff. The first part, the conversion location, if you're driving people to a website or a funnel, you're gonna wanna choose website. Then you're gonna scroll down the next part is very important. You need to make sure that you select the correct pixel, okay? So a pixel is a way for us to track all the events and all the actions that are happening on your funnel and on your website so that Facebook knows what's going on, right? Make sure that this pixel is installed on the website or on the funnel that you're taking people to. It's very, very important that you do that. If you don't handle this part right, your ads will not work properly, okay? Just wanna make that very clear. Then it asks for the conversion event, right? So this is where Facebook's like, okay, I know you, you want conversions, but what specific type of conversion do you want, right? Do you want add to carts? Do you want sales? Do you want something custom? So you're gonna wanna drop down and you're gonna tell it specifically what type of conversion you're looking for. In this case, I'm gonna choose purchase. Then I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna set your start date. You always wanna start your ads the next morning. So I'm gonna do July 19th and let's just do 7 a.m. Eastern time because that's what people start to wake up and start looking at their phones, right? Then you're gonna scroll down and this is the audience. So this is where you're telling Facebook who you wanna target. So Facebook's automatically gonna put Advantage Plus on and Advantage Plus is basically Facebook's AI, right? So this is like you saying, Facebook, hey, go ahead and do all the targeting for me, right? Do all the heavy lifting for me. Sometimes it works, so you can test it, but I've found that it works better when you have a lot of data in your account already and you've been running ads a lot. If you have a brand new account, it might not work as well, so you might wanna go ahead and do um, your own targeting. So what you can do is click on this little ad suggestions and what's gonna happen is it's gonna pop up some targeting options for you. So this is where it's really important for you to know who your ideal client is and be very honest about that. So if you know that, look, most people who buy my stuff are 25 to 65, right? So you're gonna go ahead and do that and just choose 25 and uh, 65 plus, right? Then you can choose the genders, you can leave it open or you can do one or the other. It's whatever your ideal client is. 
Then this part right here is the detailed targeting. So this is where you can either leave this broad if you want to, we've seen that work for a lot of people, or if you wanna go ahead and throw in a couple interests, uh, you can do that too, just by hitting this little pencil and then adding in an interest. So I'm targeting business owners. So for instance, what I can do is I can type in entrepreneurship and you'll see that entrepreneurship, business and finance pops up. So I can go ahead and do that. That's a very huge audience. Look at this, guys. Look, just this one interest. If you look over here on the right-hand side, 822 million to 967 million people just in that one interest, okay? There are more people on Facebook and Instagram than you even could ever serve in 100 lifetimes, right? So it's kind of insane. So you can either do one interest or you can actually click in this little box right here. And now, because you already put a base interest in, it will start to give you other relevant options as well. So you can also do like small business if you want to, and you can drop that in there. So now it's not really important how many interests that you put in. What's more important is your audience size. So you can go in here and click on estimated audience size, and you can see that it's 83 million to 98 million people are, are in my estimated audience size right now, right? So it's a huge audience. That's what works the best for Facebook right now. Okay, perfect, that's done. You can leave automatic placements. You can leave that just as it is. You're good with this section. Now, the only thing you'll need to do here is just go ahead and label your ad set name and you can label it whatever targeting that you've chose, right? So I can go ahead and just put in business owners because that's basically you know who I'm targeting. Then once you've done that, go ahead and hit next on the bottom right-hand corner. So now we're at the third and final stage of the ad creation process. So this is the ad level. So this is where we actually upload your video or your image and we write all the words for your, for your ad. So first thing is make sure your Facebook and your Instagram page are connected. It's very important. Then scroll down, make sure that this says create ad. Make sure this says manual upload. Make sure this says single image or video. And then you're gonna scroll down and the destination, this is where you're gonna be taking people to. So wherever, whenever they click on the link in your ad, this is the link that they're gonna to go to. So what I'll do is I'll go over and I'll go to my landing page that I'm gonna take people to and I will copy the link to it and I will go ahead and just paste this right here. So that way when people click the link in the ad, it's gonna take them to that page. All right, cool. Then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna to go to the ad creative section. So this is where you actually upload your image or your video. So if you click on this, it'll ask you which one you wanna do. Sometimes images work good, sometimes videos work good. So you have to split test. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video ad because video ads do typically work the best for us. Um, then it's gonna pop up this box. You can go ahead and just hit next on this. And then this is where all your videos will be. So you can either upload videos directly from your computer you can take videos that are already from your Instagram page or in your account, right? So for instance, I will take this video right here, which is a clip from me speaking on Ryan Pineda's podcast, and he was asking us some questions about um, Facebook ads. So I'll go ahead and take this clip and I will hit skip and continue. Now, if you're doing automatic placements, I would recommend changing all the different aspect ratios so that they look good in different places on Facebook. And you can actually crop too. Like, so if you wanna put your face in it, you can crop it like this. So that way, no matter where people see this ad, it looks native and it looks good, right? So then go ahead and hit next. And then I would highly recommend that you don't put your primary text right here. It screws things up a lot of times for me. So go ahead and hit next. We'll put in your primary text later. Then. Facebook a lot of times is gonna ask you to make enhancements and all these different things. I would, right now, I would advise against it because we've seen that sometimes, you go ahead and hit turn off, sometimes Facebook can make adjustments to your ad and it just looks wild, right? So I would recommend just turning all these enhancements off and then hit done. Okay, cool. Now you can see that the video has popped up and it's actually loading right now. So the next part, is actually putting the primary text. So this is gonna be the words that you see above the video. And on Instagram, it's the words that are below the video. So inside of our mentorship program, we have a bunch of different AI tools that help you just do things a lot faster. And this is one of them called Ad Copy Genius. So what we've done is we've taken a bunch of the different winning ads that we've seen work over the past 10 years and we've uploaded them into this huge document and we've basically created this amazing prompt on the back end. So now all you have to do is come here 
click this button right here and it's gonna say, I want you to analyze the words on my website and then write a Facebook ad primary text that will effectively sell what I'm offering. Ask me for the link to analyze and then immediately start writing the copy for me. All right, so then all you have to do is go and get the link for whatever website or funnel that you're promoting. So I'll go ahead and go over to our accelerator course, which by the way, this, um, this course right here is literally a culmination of us running ads for like 10 years and we packed everything that we've learned in 10 years into this course. And we've gotten so many amazing results. We have a money back guarantee. You guys can check it out if you want to, right? But anyway, I'm gonna take the link to this page and I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna drop it right here. And what's gonna happen is ChatGPT is gonna go ahead and look at this link and it's gonna analyze all the copy, all the words and all the offers on that page. And it's gonna write ads that will help me sell that specific product, right? So it's gonna give us five different variations as well, right? So one is gonna be more pain oriented and it's gonna be short form. One's gonna be pain oriented, but long form. One's gonna be more outcome based and it's gonna be like medium length. One's gonna be more disruptive and kind of crazy. And then one's gonna be more educational, right? So it's gonna have like five different primary text options that are completely different so we can split test. So all we have to do at this point is literally just copy each option and paste it in the primary text. If you want to split test multiple ones, you can go ahead and hit add text option like this, come back over and copy and paste. Guys, literally, I don't know how much more easy we can make this, right? If you guys have been running ads for a long time, you know how long it used to take to do this. So this, it, like, there's literally no excuses. If you want to grow your business using Facebook ads, like it, this is the best time for you to ever take advantage of this opportunity, right? Because look, I can literally just copy and paste all of this stuff and just paste it right in here, right? So anyway, you guys get the, get the deal here. The other thing that you have to do is you have to add in headlines. So the headline is gonna be down here at the bottom of the, of the ad. And my AI tool actually gives you four different headlines for you to choose from. I would only recommend using two, but you can choose two of the best ones, right? So run ads that actually convert. Okay, cool, that's good. So I'll copy that, paste it into the headline, and then add another headline option right here. And we can say stop paying, stop overpaying agencies now, right? Because that's one of the things that we actually help people do is we help people stop having to pay for agencies and now they can just run ads themselves or we come in and just train your team on how to run ads. If you have like a marketer or like an assistant or somebody who you want to be your own in-house marketer, we come in and we train those people and now you don't have to rely on third-party agencies anymore. That's literally what we specialize in. So um, drop it in just like that. Boom, done. All right. One last thing I want to show you guys is make sure you have your call to action on learn more. That's what has worked the best for us. And make sure that you have this website events box checked. OK, very important. Now, just come in and you just name your ad. I'll just put in this is Ryan Pineda clip. And then again, if you want to split test, which I would highly recommend doing, all you have to do is click these three dots right here. Let me move my face out of the way. Hit quick duplicate. And it's going to duplicate everything that I just did. And now you can see that this is a copy. Now, because I already put in all my primary text and my links and everything in here, now all I have to do is click trash right here and just go ahead and add a different video or maybe an image. So I can actually click on an image this time just to switch it up, hit next. And it's going to pull up a bunch of different images that I have in my account. Let's just say I want to use this image right here where we're actually teaching uh, one of our VIPs, we actually fly out to people as well. So this is another thing that we do is, you know, for our VIP clients, we actually fly out to their location and we train them and their team on the spot for two days straight. So this is actually us doing that. So you can see that as well. Again, make sure that everything looks good. The text and everything is already there because we did it first and then copied it. All right, then hit next. Now this is where AI is gonna come in and AI can actually come in and um, change the background and change a bunch of stuff. You can do that if you want to, but this image is exactly the way that I want it, so I'm not gonna do that. Again, make sure that these enhancements are off. So now everything looks good. All I'm gonna do now is just change the ad name and I'll just put in like VIP mastermind pick just so I know like what this creative is, right? So now guys, at this point, 
this is set up. Now all you have to do is hit publish and launch it and let the traffic start coming in. And what's gonna happen is all this data is gonna start popping into your account. And this data is literally showing you what's working and what's not working, right? Facebook, it has the best data in the world, better than any other platform, right? So now all you have to do is read that data and figure out, okay, should I switch things up? Should I scale it up? Take it from 20 bucks a day to 500 a day, to 1,000 a day. We have clients in our program that spend $5,000 a day in ads. Some of them spend more than that. And you know they're just blowing up their business and it's just, it's crazy, right? So take advantage of this. So if this has been helpful and you want us to come in and train your team or train you on how to do this stuff better, we actually have multiple different types of mentorship programs. You can click below, schedule a call with us and we can see if we can help, right? But hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Share it with a friend, comment if you have questions. Peace out, y'all.